What's up, guys? Good morning. So I'm here with my dog, Gorda. Gorda, say hi to the subscribers. So, um, my name is Gorda. Okay, Gorda, yeah. Gorda, yeah. Dude, the only thing I don't like about her is she likes too much. But, um, yeah, so I'm gonna be on my way to San Antonio now. Let's see what we have to do. I'll probably check my laptop when I get to the hotel and I'll tell you guys what I do because they send out a memo on what we are gonna do for the next two days. You guys are probably again gonna fucking teleport and be at the hotel and I'm gonna have to do like a three hour and a half drive. So yeah, I guess I'll see you guys at the hotel. Hey guys, um, I just put gas in my car and dude, I look so weird right now. It's cause like I went to a new barber and they honestly fucked my shit up. Let me, I was about to drive without a seatbelt. And remember guys, driving without a seatbelt is terrible. Okay, drive with a seatbelt and be careful. Because seatbelts, you know, they save lives. Because if you get in a crash and you got a seatbelt and you fly out the car and now you're wondering why you're at the side of the road and not in your car, you're going to be like, you know, I should have listened to Rivas and put my seatbelt on. That's if you're alive, right? So, um, yeah, guys, I just put $25 of gas in my car and my gas was half. And I used to be able to fill up my car with $25. So this is wild, like... This is starting to like piss off my soul. The fact that gas is three dollars in Texas. I remember complaining when it was one eighty five. Three dollars. Whereas it's not even a gallon. It's nine tenths of a gallon. First of all, who made that up? I want to talk to the person that said, "Let's give them nine tenths of a gallon. Not even a gallon. Nine tenths. Like, are y'all really that desperate for money?" nine tenths of a gallon that is some i'm gonna tell you what that is some grimy ass shit that they did there because that's 25 dollars that's three six nine twelve fifteen eight and twenty one twenty four that's eight that's almost a whole gallon that i got robbed it's crazy that's a gallon that could have helped me i'm telling you man i guess oh well but yeah so we're gonna see if my gas mileage is, is right because so it says right now i have 398 miles right and the hotel is 200 miles away so when i get there i should have 198 miles right yeah i should have 198 miles so we'll see if my car is correct because it says here 398 we'll see if my car is correct and we'll see if it's true so that's what we're gonna do guys i might stop at bucky's because um tengo hambre so i need to get some food also yeah guys if if y'all are watching my youtube videos they're gonna have to become bilingual because i'd be spanglish and yeah anyways we're on our way i just left my house so i got like three hours to go i might be there like at 2 30 so yeah and when we get there again we're gonna review some food and yeah uh I'm happy, excited. I always like going to drill because uh, it's just fun. It's just fun, and I enjoy it. So, see you guys either in Bucky's or at the hotel. All right, guys. So this is the room I'm staying in. It is so nice. I don't know what it is lately, but they're giving me rooms with like stoves and shit. This is crazy. I mean, I guess it's gonna have dishes in there also. This is crazy, bro. I don't even know I don't even know why I'm getting treated like this honestly it's just I'm grateful for it obviously and um I guess I don't know how it works for other Air Force units but dude mine has always treated me right like look at look at what I'm staying in so I guess I guess we're gonna start the hotel reviews as we have every single time and uh, we'll start with the restroom the restroom I think it's better in the last one we stayed at right because Whoa, I mean, it's just, it's bigger. It's way bigger. And um, I think this hotel is actually better than the last one I stayed at, because it was the same thing. It also came with like, uh, it also came with a fridge and a dishwasher and everything, but this is just bigger. Like I have a couch, have a table to eat at. I have two beds. Again, with the disrespect, because the military knows I'm single, but I mean, I'm gonna get a female one day. Y'all just wait. I'm just, you know, waiting a little bit. I'm taking some time. 
Um, I was gonna, I was looking where the doors came. I was like, what? That's a closet? Ain't no way. Okay, it's a closet. So, yeah, the restroom, I'm gonna have to give it like three and a half. Three and a half, because this isn't like super nice. It's not super nice, but it's just, it's so big that I can't give it anything less than a three, but it's not good enough where I could give it a four. Like, I wish I vlogged the weekend when I sit in the Marriott Hotel, because the restroom was like, a1 like it was so beautiful the room itself come on it's a four out of ten it's a four out of ten the room's a four out of ten it, this has been the best room i've stayed in so far and uh, i've actually had this the same hotel i have it booked because like we use um like a booking app right so we use like alrs which is for me like i guess what the air force uses and um so i get my my lodging there and i'm supposed to stay here for the next two UTAs, so the next like two months. And yeah, I mean, shit, I mean, this is where I'm staying at. Beautiful. I might bring my family along since, uh, you know, I'll have extra beds and stuff. The view. Anyways, yeah, so I'm gonna go get some food cause I'm hungry. And yeah, I think I'm just gonna go to sleep. The view, okay, this one's a little bit better, I guess. But man, I ain't tripping about the view. Cause honestly, when I'm in the hotel, I don't know about y'all, but I put the blackout curtains and yeah, I don't want nothing to do with the outside. I'm, I'm here to chill, watch some anime, do some homework. So I think I'm gonna go get some food right now. I'm gonna get some McDonald's, we'll review that. And yeah. All right guys, so we're on our way. I just put on my, uh, Lemon pepper steppers, though. I don't know if you guys can see. Because, uh, yeah, these were bothering me. So I just put on my, my slippers. So I'm going to go to pick up some McDonald's. I got $15 worth of food. And uh, I don't think I got a drink. But that's because I got my big gallon jug so of water. So let's go, guys. Let's go ahead and get some McDonald's. That's crazy. That is really crazy. Because now I got all the food here on my table so yeah $15 worth of food got a McDouble 10 nuggets hot and spicy Big Mac uh, two baskets of fries and a drink for $15 I mean I guess I could rate the food but we already know McDonald's is good so I rate it anyways so we're gonna start with a chicken nugget by itself I mean, what can I tell y'all? It tastes like your run of the mill processed chicken kneecap chicken nugget. Let's try it with barbecue sauce. It's good. Ranch. My opinion, I don't know about y'all. Let me know in the comments below. I'd rather have chicken nuggets with ranch than with barbecue. I mean, I like them either way, but they're good. I feel like they're better with ranch. Fries by themselves. Like your run-of-the-mill processed fries with barbecue. These are good with barbecue. Yeah. But they're great with ranch. I just love ranch. Now our little <laughs> a little I was gonna say McDouble, mix single, whatever it's called, cheeseburger. <laughs> uh, now our mix single, your cheeseburger, whatever it's called. I mean tastes like my childhood. Tastes pretty good. Oh, and all I put in it is ketchup, ketchup and cheese because I don't like onion and mustard and whatever. Call me a kid with so. Okay, guys, my bad. My best friend called me and interrupted the vlog. So if you're watching this, Nadir, put sorry in the comments because you interrupted me. Anyways, hot and spicy. Tastes good. Like a fucking hot and spicy. Huh, it's spicy though. Damn. 
Sorry guys, I choked on, on the parry, but um, damn. <coughs> <coughs> All right, now for a throw. Now onto the Big Mac. Right here. I love the Big Mac. If I have to choose my favorite sandwich for McDonald's, it has to be a Big Mac. And I get the Big Mac with everything. So, yeah, guys, $15. A lot of food. I give it an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Uh, so now I'm going to eat. And, yeah, I'm excited because all of this is, uh, is going to be good. So I will see you guys. I will see you guys later. I'm going to show you guys my cold weather gear. So I will see you guys when I'm done eating. All right, guys. So just in case you're curious, I'm going to show you my cold weather gear. So this goes from like, uh, I guess we'll just say level one to level two to level three in warmth, right? I'll show you how it looks. And these all go underneath our OCPs. So, yep. I'll show you guys how they look. And so what I'm wearing right now is my waffle top and my waffle bottoms. So it's the name because the name is given to them waffle top and waffle bottom. Because you can see the texture looks like waffles. So it's your waffle top, waffle bottom. These are like a level warmer than these. And yeah, I mean, they <laughs> they keep you warm. Trust me. I mean, I feel like I'm getting warm already and I only have these on. And, you know, you put your OCPs on top, you're going to get really warm. And I guess this is like the warmest layer that I have. Remember, that I have. Because if you're stationed in the unit or you guys get stationed like in Alaska, you're going to get even warmer, even you know, warmer, like OCPs that are meant for warm, uh, for cold weather, right? Because I'm in Texas, so this is the warmest of all. And yeah, I mean, this layer is just like a little bit more thick than this. This one, it's less thick. I guess more cold can get in because here, right? And it has like the little, I guess, texture inside, which makes it get warmer. This is just like a long sleeve and uh like just lining for like your trousers underneath this is like more thick of a material and i mean this like gets me warm way too quick like i don't like wearing this because it like gets like for texas for texas it's just fine using this this is the the most i'll ever go to because this it feels like i'm dying like i'm suffocating in this but i mean that's the gear i get besides obviously um besides my beanie and the cold weather my cold weather fleece or my my fleece right this one's like a jacket but i've already shown that in a, in a video so yeah guys i guess i'll see you guys tomorrow morning because right now i'm gonna do some schoolwork and go to sleep so i'll see you guys bright and early hey what's up guys i just woke up so uh today i checked the schedule what i'm gonna be doing and um, i'm gonna be doing like medical stuff right now so i think for like the first half of the day I'm gonna get my physical set assessment done, uh, go like update my medical records. And I think um, like some immunizations, I don't know what they are cause I thought it was up to date, but yeah. I fell asleep with um, my waffle top on cause it was cold. Like I like having my room at 60 degrees. And dude, I don't know I look, I look dead, but whatever. So I will see you guys when I change into my uniform and and yeah all right hey what's up guys so i just got finished getting my flu shot and um apparently it's called influenza slash flu shot i thought those were two different things but uh, hey this is why i'm a cop not a fucking nurse so anyways i just got my flu shot and i'm gonna be going right now to uh, a range on the air force base where we're going to be doing buddy team live fire so we're going to be doing drills where we shoot move communicate and the uh, kill together or i guess more friendly your words shoot move communicate and the threat since you know can get canceled nowadays but that's what we're going to be doing today and then after that i'm not sure i'm not tracking on what else we have to do uh right now all i know is what you guys know which is i'm going to arrange and that's it and i'm just going to be shooting so excited for that you know we love guns we love shooting it's why i'm in the military so yeah guys i will see if i could record some of my friends doing it 
uh, cause I'm not sure what I can or can't record. So I'll see what I can record for you guys. And if not, I'll see you after I'm done with that. And I'm probably gonna be eating uh, some food cause I'm hungry. Hey guys, so I just got done having lunch. And uh, let me tell you, if you're in San Antonio and you want a good place to have lunch at, Yorkie's Taco Place. It's like five minutes from Lackland. Oh my God, it's fucking good as fuck. Yorkie's. So I had horchata from them. Papi's horchata está divina. Like 10 out of 10, bro. I love that horchata. Like I'm telling you. Yorkie's. Um, York, Yorkie's Taco Place is called. And they give 10% off for military. So there's that. And yeah, right now we're doing fingerprinting. So the range was fun. The shoot, move, communicate was fun. Now just doing fingerprinting and I'll probably be released and be able to go home. Hey guys, how are you doing? I just got done doing the fingerprinting and everything that, well, I was supposed to do today. A lot of CBTs got done, which are like basically online certificates that you have to get done to move out of phase one. And that's pretty much it guys. I really enjoyed today because like I said, I got to be able to shoot with my M4. I got to shoot the M9 and I got to do fingerprinting. So and mouth swaps and all of that. So, I mean, I'm pretty happy with everything that happened. It's just UTAs are pretty chill. Of course, I did CBTs, which are like online certifications. And that's pretty much it, guys. Pretty chill today. I am driving back to the hotel. I'm tired. I mean, it's 1700 and, you know, just got off. But sometimes that is what it is. Woke up at 5 a.m., got off at 5 p.m., 12 hour days. You know it's it's the reserve and it's the life that that you just gotta choose and it's super easy like there's no need to complain it's super easy like i really don't regret my decision so i will see you guys tomorrow at 7 a.m i mean at 5 a.m because we have pt at 7 a.m so i will see you guys tomorrow or maybe i'll talk to you a little bit in the hotel depends how i'm feeling in any case either see you guys back at the hotel or use the right lane to take the exit toward i410 and state highway 16 before I was interrupted or tomorrow all right hey guys so I'm in the hotel and uh, I went to Walmart and I actually bought some food so here let me hold my phone I actually bought some food so we're gonna be cooking and reviewing some food I got uh, I think it's decent food I think it's all right let's see here we go I will show you guys what we got for dinner let me put you guys guys hmm, we're put you, I put you right here boom out the way so, first thing we have is orange chicken okay and this whole meal was seven dollars by the way just so y'all tracking or so y'all understand whatever tracking means understands the same thing get used to it right so I got an orange chicken bowl and I'm super excited for it Let's see how it tastes I also got um Fettuccine with chicken. Chicken fritter with chicken. I'm excited for this. And I got some Lunchables because you can never go wrong with Lunchables. I'm gonna cook these, not in the microwave, but in the stove. That way they taste better because food tastes better when you actually make it on the stove and not microwave it. Also guys, check out SF Meme Guy. I know I said it last episode. That's where I got the shirt from. It looks super nice. So, you know, looking drippy or whatever. Anyways, we're about to cook. Also, guys, stay hydrated. Like hydration, super important. Let's go ahead and get our water jug. At a minimum, at a minimum, and this isn't even what we're supposed to be drinking. At a minimum, you guys should be drinking this. Okay, look, three liters, at a minimum. That's me being nice to y'all because we really should be having like six liters a day. Hydration is important guys, all right? Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Please hydrate, it's super important and it'll just help you, right? So we're gonna get to cooking guys and we'll review the food. I'm excited for it. So I'll see you guys. I'm gonna change out and I'm gonna cook. So I'm gonna change out first and then cook. See you guys when the food is ready. Right now we got the um, orange chicken cooking here. And we got the fettuccine alfredo cooking here. So I just, I'd rather do them here because they end up tasting better than microwave. I don't know if it's just me. And I'm eating Lunchables as I'm cooking because I'm hungry. I mean, 
It was the whole reason that I got Lunchables. It's because I was gonna get hungry. So yeah, guys. Oh, and I have my fleece on because, as y'all know, I love to keep my room cold. It is like super cold, but I like it that way. So it's like my room is 60 degrees right now, but I like it. I like it cold. So yeah, guys, it's cooking. And uh, I just wanted to learn, I guess, to update you guys. Because I'm eating my Lunchables. All right, guys, so just got done cooking my food. And we're gonna go ahead and try the orange chicken first. Excited to see what this is gonna taste like. It smells good. So let's see if it lives up to the smell. It's an orange chicken. Pause, pause. I'm gonna blow on it, pause. Cause it's hot. Chicken is good. Get some rice in the cut. Some rice, come on. It's decent. It's Walmart orange chicken. So it's decent. It's not gonna be great, but it's decent. Five being neutral, one being terrible, 10 being the greatest orange chicken I've had. Let me give this a five and a half. It's good though. For being processed chicken kneecap and horse tendon, probably in that chicken nugget. It tastes good. I'm gonna, definitely gonna be finishing this. Now on to the fettuccine. This one I have high hopes for. All right, hold up. Let me clean my palate. Gordon Ramsay type beat. Make sure I don't got no orange chicken messing up my palate. You know what I mean? I watch Kitchen Nightmares, so. Gordon Ramsay hire me, bro. I could be a taste tester. Look at me. Okay, fettuccine. Fettuccine with the chicken. Wow. Wow. Six and a half out of ten. It's not no Olive Garden pasta. I think the best fettuccine I've ever had has been like a eight out of 10. Eight and a half out of 10. I'm sure there's some good pasta places I haven't tried yet. This is definitely not bad. Six and a half. I like this one better. I'm gonna eat both. Like I said, I spent $7 on a Lunchable and two entrees, so I'm not tripping. It is what it is. Lunchables was a 10 out of 10 solid i will see you guys tomorrow morning at 06 because we got pt tomorrow take care what's up guys good morning i just woke up take a shower then um shave comb my hair brush my teeth put some lotion on you know even though i really don't grow hair like that it's pretty weird it is what it is. Uh, guys, I can't wait till I'm a senior airman though. I really want to be a senior airman. That sucks. But eventually, eventually, eventually. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower and then I'm gonna pack everything and then we'll probably talk a little bit because we're not gonna do PT. But my kneecap hurts and I need to do, so I'm gonna apply for TRICARE because yeah. <laughs> I'll be getting injured, bro. So I'm play for dry care. And yeah, I will see you guys when I'm showering. All right, guys, so I got the PT uniform on. I think I'm, well, I'm not running late, but I'm not exactly early either. So, and I don't like being right on time. So I'll, I'll talk to you guys when I'm done with PT. Just, you know, I got my PT girl on. Taking everything to my car. I'll see you guys after PT. All right, hey guys, so I just got finished with my UTA. I'm going home, but this time I'm not going straight to Houston. I'm going to Columbus. Uh, me and my best friend, we're going to shoot some guns. So today you guys are going to have like an extended vlog. You're going to see me, I guess, at my friend's, at my friend's house in Waymar. Waymar, Columbus, Texas. It's like the same thing. They're both super close. And, you know, we're going to be shooting guns today. So 
gonna be awesome i'm excited for that so i'll see you guys when i get to his house in waymar all right guys so we're here in waymar and we're about to go shooting we have a, a 12 gauge shotgun that's mine i think he has his shotgun too an ar and a 22 so we're gonna be shooting it and uh he's gonna be recording me so y'all can see how i shoot we also bought a armor plate and we're gonna be shooting at the plate to see like what the bullets do to it okay so this is the plate we're gonna be shooting this is just the target we have here and let's go to the guns these are the guns that we have we're gonna be shooting my 12 gauge so i've uh you i mean you can buy this it's called the mossberg 590 but this this was this didn't come with this stock i put this stock on it and i'm gonna change this to one that has a light on it and i'm gonna put a sling here so that's what i'm gonna do with my shotgun but that's my shotgun and here my friend a deer or my best friend i've been knowing this guy for like 15 years already brought his ar and this mag i gave to him i gave it to him for his birthday and he has this shotgun all right guys so nadir is gonna take the shot all right let's go check it out all right straight in the middle it did not go through it's a YouTube shot. You see? Oh, wow. That's crazy. Well, it would survive a 22. It'll survive a 22. Okay, so what's next? The AR? That's, That's wild. wild. Yeah, the AR, yeah. All right, let's see what happened to the plate. No way. It didn't go through. It didn't go through. What's the, nothing on the back? Nothing on the back. That's it. Did that shit hit? It yeah, hit. definitely. Alright. Don't stop recording and see if we can. No, no, it's. <laughs> nah, dude, it did not go through. Nah, it, it did not. But flip it? Nothing, wow. Ready? Go. We both jammed at the same. You want to see how hard the slug was? It knocked the sights. It down. knocked your sights down. Yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> Do I see that thing denting? <laughs> Still. 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 Did not go through. Did not go through. Right in the fucking middle. Where, where's the hit? Right here. Oh my god. Can you zoom in for the... So they can see the inside of it? Jeez. Let me see. Okay, so let's recap. This was a rifle round. The slug this did more damage. Slug. This is the slug that bounced off the ground. That was a rifle. This was... And right. then the rest are just... Buckshot. 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 All right, hey guys, I'm sitting here in traffic uh, on my way to school, on my way to the college I go to, HCC. And I just realized I forgot to end out the vlog yesterday because I was too busy. Like, once I got done shooting, like, it's been a while since I hung out with him, like, probably like a week. So we were just, like, talking, shitting the shit. We went to McDonald's and I don't know. Actually, the McDonald's there, worker there was pretty rude. We had, like, two mobile orders, so we go to the drive through right? And we're like, hey, we get two mobile orders. All right, so we get to, like, to the window. And he gives us our first order. And then we, we like wave him down. He's like, hey, we have a question. He was like, yes. And I was like, we have two mobile orders. Um, you only give us one back. He goes out, brings back buffalo sauce. And then we're like, okay. And then he's like, he goes away. And then we say, hey, our mobile order. And then he's like, are y'all gonna keep adding stuff? Bro, I got mad as fuck. I got triggered. Like, you have no idea how how like mad that shit made me but i had my uniform on so I, I couldn't like get out of pocket or anything so i was just like i was like what did you say and then my friend kareem which is a dear's brother he started arguing with him and i was like okay because you got me fucked up like 
We have two mobile orders, bro. Two mobile orders. Fuck, are you like getting an attitude with me? Like, did he have like I don't know? Maybe he had like a long night. And look, McDonald's isn't a bad place to work at if you're starting off. But he was like 25. He's working at a McDonald's in a city with like a thousand people max. It's way more Texas. And you're giving me an attitude because you don't you're not understanding what we're trying to tell you that just threw me off that like that pissed my night off bro i was like what the fuck is your problem dude we had two mobile orders that's so difficult to understand and you want to bring me buffalo sauce when i asked you about my other mobile order and then when we tell you hey our mobile order you want to be like are you gonna keep adding stuff we're not adding anything give us what we order you fucking idiot and then he wants you know to have the attitude and be like so you're telling me you ordered the milkshake and the chicken nuggets we're like yes that's our other mobile order fucking dumbass bro oh my god he pissed me off but I had my uniform on so I, was, I just I was just quiet and I let my friends handle it because I was like ain't no way ain't no way but I mean whatever we move on <clears throat> and just got I just had to rant a little bit <clears throat> but yeah guys I mean the reserve life uh, like literally yesterday I was shooting guns with my unit I was doing fingerprinting, I was doing EPRs, and like a few hours later I'm shooting guns at my friend's, you know, house in Weimar, so it's like, it's those things that the reserve give you that, that really like, just, like why even do active duty, I mean yeah, maybe there's people that can get a lot more out of active duty than I could, it's just, I mean I have a life here in, in Houston, I wouldn't say I have like a lot of friends I have the friends that I need and that's all that matters because I know people that have a lot of friends but they'll talk shit behind their back and it's like they swear like they're they have really good friends and they'll talk shit about them to me and I'll just be like oh that's crazy and then they'll tell me oh my god this and that you don't know because they're not your friends my friends are real and I'm like okay I got like five friends but I know they won't talk shit behind my back so it is what it is Anyways, guys, I'm about to get to HTC, and I don't know, just leave any questions in the comments. I know I have this guy that gets angry at me now, I think his name is Thomas, Ryan. I don't know if I'm, like, living rent-free in your head, but you keep just getting mad at me in my comments, because I get to stay in a hotel. I don't know what to tell you, man. Just don't be angry. Don't be angry at other people's success. If I made a choice that made me be in a better position than you were, then sorry i mean kind of what happens you know what i mean anyways yeah ryan just relax bro take it easy it's not that deep i'm 20 and you're like 73 and you're beefing on my youtube comment section so just relax bro, you know you'll be fine and yeah guys so i appreciate you guys for watching just you know leave a comment for anything that you guys want and yeah so i'm about to hit to htc and i'm probably gonna upload this video probably wednesday maybe friday at the latest we'll see because it's a lot of editing that i have to do anyways thank you guys so much remember to wear your seatbelt when you drive because it's super important and yeah i will see you guys maybe i'll do a vlog in a, a weekend in my life not the reserves just like a normal weekend we'll see anyways all right guys so i'll see you maybe um in like two to three weeks or in next uta it just still depends